Today, more than half the world's population lives in cities, and the number of people moving to cities is increasing daily. With that fact in mind, it is important to recognize that there is a direct correlation between the design of these city systems and the daily happiness, well-being, and fulfillment of everyone on this planet. Humankind will continue to make cities, and it is extremely important to design these city systems in an intelligent manner with our mutual global fulfillment in mind. Cities in community are designed to function sustainably for our fulfillment. They are openly shaped and updated by us based upon our evolving understandings of how we are most naturally fulfilled. To the best of our understandings and abilities, community-based cities are designed to incorporate elements from and otherwise reflect the natural environment of our species. These community-type cities are created in harmony with nature and our larger habitat to obtain the highest possible standard of living for everyone. In order to accomplish this, their designs are coherently integrated into and formed from our unified community information model. It is their well thought out and intentional social design that allows individuals therein to decide their own lifestyles and personal preferences. The vast majority of the community's population would live in these continuously updated, pollution-free, energy-efficient and self-sustaining cities. These cities emphasize safety, simplicity of construction, and efficiency in modification. They feature clean air and water, healthcare, optimized nutrition, recreation and entertainment, personally customized housing, and access to a wide variety of enriching opportunities for self-development and community contribution. All structures in these cities are designed to be relatively maintenance-free, meaningfully fireproof, and virtually impervious to adverse weather and geologic conditions, while maintaining the potential for being continuously updated and customized as demand arises. Through the application of automation technology, they are significantly self-sustaining in their operation leaving people the freedom and space to intentionally experience the world around them. And for those of us that don't want to live in these cities, there are standalone modular homes that can be easily built anywhere, even on the sea, and are mostly self-sustaining. In a community city, buildings are no longer hidden in concrete jungles. Instead, they are aesthetic pleasures unto themselves. Additionally, cities in community are immersed in lovely gardens because that is what people need for their well-being. Instead of having parks, the whole city is a park. Enjoyable sites and activities and growth opportunities are built into the environment. We design our cities to meet human needs, and hence our cities do not have the social and ecological problems that are prevalent in cities in modern society due to their poorly thought out designs. Our cities are simple in their design, elegant in their appearance, and efficient in their operation. When cities are hugely complex, poorly thought out and inelegant, then they are not likely to operate well for humanity. A city that operates for our fulfillment has to be efficient. An inefficient one would have a difficult time evolving and would likely self-destruct under the weight of its own needs. Through the use of a common information model, cities in community are quick to plan, easy to assemble and disassemble, efficient to maintain, aesthetic in appearance, and highly durable. They are designed so that they can be disassembled as easily as they were assembled. Construction techniques for this type of living system would be vastly different than those employed in modern society. Most of the elements that comprise the structure of these cities are interchangeable, interlocking, and modular. Our approach envisions, at least in part, assembling entire cities by standardizing basic structural elements, some of which are prefabricated in automated plants and assembled on site. Prefabrication, printing, extrusion, and self-erecting structures ensure an optimized construction process. Here, we recognize that it is easier, less problematic, and more efficient to build newer cities from the ground up than to attempt to update, restore, and reconfigure old ones. While some people advocate the adaptation of existing cities to community, these efforts fall far short of our capabilities and are not likely a feasible option for most cities, due to their layout and also seriously complex issues with ownership and jurisdiction. Modifying outmoded cities does not go far enough and will simply delay, or worse, obscure, the appearance of their structural problems and hence their inevitable negative social and ecological consequences. Today, we can re-architect and construct cities toward our fulfillment in ways and with speeds that were unimaginable 
20, 50, or 100 years ago. Modern city systems are laid out in an organically unorganized manner and without forethought to human fulfillment or to future modifications. They often appear to be constructed and sometimes even operated at random. Of course, their operation isn't entirely random. It is based upon bureaucratic and market incentivized logic, which only makes their functioning appear random. In these cities, facilities such as hospitals, shops, schools, workspaces, and playgrounds are often not easily accessible, and getting to them can be a less than pleasant experience. Modern cities are polluted concrete jungles with very little greenery, which would otherwise facilitate human health and allow nature to coexist with us. These cities are overwhelmed with cars, which have a variety of negative consequences, including noise, traffic jams, accidents, pollution, and simply taking up space. Most modern cities have an abundance of poverty-stricken families. In fact, they have become centers of poverty. Nearly everywhere you go, there is maintenance or the necessity for maintenance. They are prone to gridlocks and breakdowns. They are dependent on, and sometimes even defined by, the constant inflow of resources, which means they can never be sustainable. And also, highly preferred cities are overburdened by a continuous influx of new residents, which drives up prices for their inhabitants and reduces the space available per inhabitant, making the living situation less pleasant for all inhabitants. Many people in these cities are so busy accumulating wealth as money, property, and power that they have lost an awareness of what it means to be a human being among a community of all beings. They have become disconnected from the source of their fulfillment, and their architectural materializations have adopted similar distortions.